everybody, I'm Lisa Schmidt from In The Zone Agility. Um, today I want to talk to you about holding a toy when you are running agility. So when I have a, when I do agility, when I practice, I always have a toy in my hand. Um, I don't hide it under my shirt, I don't hide it in my bag, I don't sew a pocket in my bag so that I can pull it out. Um, I hold a toy in my hand when I am running and practicing doing agility. Um, because a lot of people that hold the toy, you know, what cue is this? You know, pulling it out of your clothing. Um, what cue is that? And people become really inconsistent with their cues when they're trying to pull out a toy to reward their dog, right? So I hold a toy in my hand when I am running agility, when I'm practicing. So I want to go over how I actually teach it. Because Inspire, he's 11 months old. So I'm going to show you what things I've been doing with him since he's been younger so that he learns that you don't grab the, grab the toy. So how I, do that, how I do that is that I give them a release word that means toy is coming. So for me, if you ever watch any of my videos, I say yes. Yes means exercise is over, toy is coming. Um, if I have a toy on the ground, I say get it. That means toy is on the ground. Or if I drop treats, I say get it. Um, so that they know to look kind of on the ground. And yes to me means exercise is over, toy is coming. Um, I don't really like using the word yes because it interferes with my trick training stuff, but I've been doing it for way too long to change, to change it. So, if you are coming up with a word to toss your toy, think of a good one that doesn't conflict with other training cues, okay? All right, so how I start is that I just put them on a sit stay and I say, okay, yes, or okay, get it, whatever word you're gonna use. Come here, Spice. Hi, he is, come here, Spice. Come here, Spice. He's 11 months old. He's been running around, so he's a little hot. But, so I just gonna release him and say, okay, yes. Okay, yes. And then I toss it for him. And I'll do it again. Okay, yes. So he's learning okay means release. And yes means I'm tossing a toy. Where's my eyes? Okay, I'm going to toss the toy so that he's not going to get it. He should stay until I release him and I tell him to get it. Okay, get it. And now I'm going to add a little bit of motion where he's got to stay with me with the toy close to his head. Okay. Okay, get it. Yes. He did jump up a little bit. He wanted to grab it. So we'll work through this. Ready? Okay. Come here. Okay. Come here. Okay, yes. Good boy. Come on, Spice. Practice my switches. Okay. Switch. Yes, get it. So he didn't try to jump up or grab it when I had the toy going over his head. Let me go the other way. Okay, drop. Good boy. Okay, switch. Yes, get it. Good boy. So even if I hold it above his head, I don't expect him to jump up and grab it. Right? He shouldn't grab it unless I say yes. Okay, okay. So he did jump, he grabbed it, so I'm just ignoring him. I didn't let him have it. I just... Um, held on to it. Okay. Okay. Come here, I'm going to do that again. Okay. Yes, good boy. Okay, get it. Good boy. Good boy. So just by not interacting, you know, with him, not letting him have it, not playing with him, he learned that, no, I'm not supposed to grab it. Okay. Good boy. Good. Okay. Yes, get it. Good boy. So... That's essentially how I start teaching it. Okay. Yes, get it. Yes, get it. Okay. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Switch. Yes. Now I'm going to have him wait before he gets to it. Okay, wait. Okay, get it. Good boy. Okay, wait. Okay, get it. Good boy. Move yourself in different locations and stuff so that he knows when I say wait, you wait. When I say okay, get it, you can get it. Good boy. Let me see if I could toss it. 
Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, get it. Tandem's brilliant. 